Hey guys, welcome to today's reading. So this week we're going to be looking at what is going on in Divine Soulmate Connections, where the masculine is involved in a karmic situation. Of course, I have to always say this because some people just mention it in the comments. Of course, it could be also that the feminine is dealing with a karmic situation. Maybe the both of you are, but this reading is just, that's this is just what it is, <laughs> all right? I have done a reading um, specifically for the feminine and their karmic situation it just doesn't have much demand all right so but if you guys want me to do more of those definitely let me know and i can just do them once in a while um so yeah today's reading is going to be focusing on that but do keep in mind that some of the energies that come through if you are a feminine and you are involved in a karmic situation some of the energies for the masculine can also apply to you okay because we're just tapping into the masculine energy and the feminines also have masculine energy, okay? So just take the messages as they resonate for you, if they resonate, all right? So yeah, with that said, this reading is also general, so it might not be everybody's situation, that is perfectly okay. But if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And yeah, the other thing is that the karmic situation does not necessarily have to be a person, okay? I will be doing the reading as if it is a partner like a spouse but it can definitely be um any it can be actually any person like a relative a friend um but it can also be a situation so again just take the messages if they make sense for you and as they make sense for you so yeah that is it let's get started so as always we're going to start by getting some oracle cards for the masculine's energy just overall so let's see and then we'll also be looking a little bit into the feminine's energy as well. <clears throat> All right, so what is ooh, going on with the masculine? All right, we have a magician in the mirror. Okay, so this is a lot of insight. This is being able to see what is going on, being able to fully, I, I, the way it's coming in, it's like being able to see through certain things um, in their in their situation. And not only that, but being able to see how it is that they have manifested this and that where they are right now is really, you know, just based on the choices that they have made. Let's get a couple more. All right, and we have a number 20, which this actually is the card of karma. So yeah, this is, um, <clears throat> they're actually manifesting this karma to play out, which is something that does need to happen. But this card is also talking about that karmic balance, like karma actually balancing out and being being completed. And so I feel like this is something that is being very, very strongly manifested during this time period. So we're just gonna get a couple more. And then we'll get into the tarot. Okay, we have nostalgia and we have conclusion. All right, yeah, see, so definitely there's um, there's nostalgia for the past, right? That's what nostalgia is about. So this is nostalgia for their divine feminine. And it's, so I don't know if maybe some of you are either in separation or it could even be that some of you, for some of you there may have been recent contact or something that has triggered them. Um, for this nostalgia to just feel very, very intense to the point where it is actually serving towards them bringing a conclusion to their situation. So if you have recently, let's say, walked away or, um, you know, just decided to get yourself out of the situation, okay, that is actually serving to push towards this conclusion, right? The karmic conclusion. Or, you know, the other way around, if, but something has definitely happened. And when I say the other way around, I mean, if you have recently come into contact or maybe there has been some kind of event or something that has triggered them into this nostalgia, which again is pushing towards that conclusion. So let's get into the tarot. Let's get a little more specific here. So let's see the masculine's general energy towards this karmic situation or person. Alright, 
they're all in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and the Devil in reverse. All right, this is actually because these, all of these cards, if they were upright, they're very challenging cards. They have a lot of um, just, you know, negative energies attached to them. However, they are in reverse. So this is the masculine actually coming out of these energies. What I'm seeing here is that this, for this particular masculine, at least for the group we're tapping into today, this is a done situation. Not only is it done, I feel like, um, I just, I just got the word numbing in my head, but not numbing as in drinking or, you know, distracting oneself. It's like feeling numb to, to the connection. So it's like they have already gone through some pain while processing the fact that this is just not working out or, you know, there was a lot of um, agitation, a lot of frustration, just a lot of things. And it's like at the moment, it's like the hardest part is behind them. It's more of like an acceptance. It just, it's not as painful now as it was in the past. And when I say painful, okay, it really depends on the situation. For some of them, it might be painful, for example, if they have a family, if they had um, a lot of, you know, invested a lot energetically, emotionally, physically, practically into this connection. You know, it could be emotionally painful. For others of them, it's a pain just associated to their own self. Like if, it, if it's a more superficial connection, then ending this would be painful to them for the wrong reasons, but you can't really say that, right? It's pain is pain, but it would be more of a pain to their own self because of their ego, something that it would um, represent ego wise, all right? So they're even seeing this as something more manageable now than in the past, this ending, all right? With the nine of wands now being in reverse. First of all, this is also having given up, right? On this connection. Like it, there's like this acceptance here that, you know, this is, this is really done. This is really done. And you know what? Like I, I'm even feeling numb to this ending. So that's number one. And number two, it, it doesn't feel so as difficult as before to fully push through this and to accept this this ending right because we have the devil also in reverse and that's all about releasing toxicity coming out of fears coming out of the codependency so there was codependency right in this connection for whatever reason and it could have just been because it was serving their ego so this is actually very, very positive. Let's see what else. The Emperor in reverse, <laughs> they're all in reverse. Wow, and so four out of the six cards are major arcana because we have the Emperor in reverse now, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and also the Sun in reverse. All right, so this is what's going on with them in their mental space as well as emotionally. And it's like they're feeling like this is not where I belong, all right, with the Emperor being in reverse. There's a lot of, um, you know, this is not my, <clears throat> this is not my kingdom, basically. This is not, this is not mine. It's like they know that the situation is never going to change. So for those of them who have tried to make um, some kind of efforts or have just tried to ignore certain things, <clears throat> just thinking that the situation would magically change or even putting effort into it changing, it's not changing. That's what they're thinking here, as well as feeling that it's not going to change. It's always going to be unhappy and unfulfilling. So they're feeling extremely unfulfilled. I'm feeling like they're, but it's also like a sense of being powerless in this connection. And that's not to say that they are feeling powerless overall or within themselves to do something about it. That's not what I'm saying at all. Just within this connection, it, they're powerless because they cannot fix it. They just cannot be happy here. So yeah, like what do we want to clarify? Let's clarify. We'll see. Let's 
Okay, that's not the right. Okay. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Cups, and then the Five of Cups in reverse. So, I definitely feel like there has been, because I was saying this, I think, in the previous reading, which was almost two weeks ago, where, or one of the previous readings, where it felt like something was going to be revealed to them, some kind of a truth. And I feel like whatever that is or was, for some of them, it may have been something just more, um, <clears throat> more concrete, like a big... <laughs> uncovering or discovery of something. For others of them, it could have been just something more subtle. Whatever the case though, whatever that truth is, <clears throat> that is what is making it easier for them to feel this numbness when it comes to, to that pain and that things are just releasing this, right? That conclusion that it's easier. It's easier than they thought. That's how they're feeling at the moment, even with that magician in the mirror, right? It's like the magician in, in the tarot feeling like they can manifest because they can now see something. So that is what is happening here. Um, the Knight of Cups clarifying the, the Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it's... It's not so hard for them anymore to, to pull back when it comes to their emotions or to understand their emotions or which way they want to go emotionally. I feel like basically they're not trying to either manipulate their emotions or resist their emotions anymore. It's like, this is how I feel about this person. And a lot of that, again, it has to do with that truth that they found out, which also may have, for some of them, been the trigger um, that instigated that, that nostalgia, that just brought it more to the surface for their feminine. All right, and then the Five of Cups in reverse. So this is releasing fears, regrets, guilt, all of those kinds of things. Releasing the pessimism, right? Because a lot of these masculines were, they went through a phase of depression. And for some of them, they could still be depressed, okay? Um, because they're still in this situation. However, they're not sulking in it. That's the difference. They're not sulking in that, in that depression. This is that five of cups in reverse. That's also, especially because it's clarifying the devil in reverse, that's also releasing the past, releasing the grief. So it's very in line with what I just said before with that 10 of swords in reverse. Like it just doesn't feel as painful anymore to leave this connection for whatever reasons, right? For some of them, it could have been um, for reasons of status or just the whole procedure or, you know, how is it going to look to other people or what am I going to say to other people or how are other people going to be affected by this? Or how is, you know, my ego going to be affected by this? Whatever. They're coming out of that. It almost feels like they're already out of that. All right, let's see this bottom row. All right, so we have the Five of Wands and the Lovers clarifying the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, and because they're feeling like they just cannot control this situation, um, there's there's conflict here. There's conflict from stemming from the masculine side towards the karmic. I feel like they might even be instigating some arguments. For some of them, it could even be on purpose. Um, and for others of them, it's not on purpose. It's just because of the way that they are feeling at the moment. But it definitely, it's definitely them being a little bit, um, what's the word, like, um, argumentative. 
possibly even irritable, all right, especially with that Knight of Swords being in reverse. Um, but just there's a lot of tension at the moment. And I feel like with the Emperor being in reverse, it's, this is also the masculine not being able to fully um, control the, control themselves right now because they're feeling like, you know what, that, like, why am I even here? Like, this is done. The situation cannot change. I know I'm going to, I'm going to be unhappy. I'm not fulfilled. And it's like, you know, and for some of them, if they were there because of lust or sex or, you know, whatever, because it's going to be different for all of them, like there's tension for that too. There's, there's a lot of conflict. That's not working out. we have the six of swords okay so they're feeling what yeah exactly what cannot change is that they cannot move this connection to a more peaceful state like there, there's just no going to the sun right because the six of swords is clarifying the wheel of fortune in reverse all right so that change is not possible so for a lot of them like i said before you know they they tried they made some kind of an effort or they waited to see if um Things would get better, you know, if they would feel more fulfilled. I'm getting that they feel empty. Let's see the sun. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. They're not, they're just not resonating with this connection. And again, with that, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, I feel like there is some kind of truth that was very unfavorable that they found out. Um, which again is something that has really affected this and that's why they're feeling this way thinking this way so there's a lot of tension there's a lot of arguments um, but overcoming the fear very very strongly here all right very very strongly overcoming the fear I feel like the fear is not even there so I feel like a lot of them are actually possibly, um, I feel like shortly after the holidays, things are just going to get moving for this group here. Well, let's get some, let's get some cards to see what the masculine's energy is towards their feminine. Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. There it is, that nostalgia. Yeah. Okay, so the masculines for at least this week, or maybe for two weeks, okay, that, that's usually the time span of these readings. Um, they're feeling very confident, very, very confident. Not only that, they're feeling like they want to come after this. Big time. Like, this is, it's ridiculous how all the cards showed up in reverse um, for their energy towards the karmic. And now these are beautiful upright cards showing up for their energy towards towards the feminine. It's like they're, they, they're having this burst of confidence right now. I don't know what has happened. <laughs> what happened? If anybody has anything um, in specific, you know, um, let us know in the comments if something has happened and you're feeling this. Because it, it feels like this big shift. And again, whatever it is that happened, it, it created this nostalgia. And all of a sudden, they're feeling confident, just like that magician. That they can have this commitment and a reconciliation with you. Alright, so let's get one more row. have the five of wands in reverse the moon 
and the Nine of Swords for what they're thinking and feeling. All right, okay. So in their general energy, as I said, right, they're feeling this confidence, right? It's like they're moving towards success, towards towards this commitment. So right now, these, these masculines, they're moving in the right direction, all right? Karma's playing out. The conclusions are um, taking place. There's nostalgia here. They're in manifesting mode, all right? There's a lot that's going on here. Um, so that's the overall energy, right? Moving towards, because all of that is ultimately um, leading up to a reconciliation with the feminine. However, in what they're thinking though and how they're feeling, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna clarify, but there is some stress here. There is some stress. They they feel like they've resolved um, for sure certain certain things that were conflicting them concerning the feminine they have resolved some of those things and for each of you again it's going to be diff different whatever that was um but there's still a little bit of uncertainty and it could be that they are they're having doubts concerning their own mental state so it's like they're feeling confident about this, right? That they're moving towards this, right? They're moving towards success, but there's still um, there's still some doubts, but it doesn't matter because I see them doing it anyway. I feel for a lot of them, they don't know what's going on with you and that is also um, adding to their stress and anxiety about this. But let's see, I mostly just want to clarify this bottom row because that top row is very, very clear. Alright, so for the Five of Wands, we have the Moon in Reverse, the King of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles again, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, so they've resolved some of the, some of what was making them feel unsure about your connection and about a commitment with you, okay? So this masculine has resolved those issues in their mind, um, which a lot of them were, may have been based on illusion or just, you know, some of them are just even just natural fears that you can have, you know, before you enter a relationship with anybody, right? Um, because especially for the divine connections, right? There, it, it's intense, it's intense. And for a lot of you, this might not be for all of you, but for some of you, you know, you and your masculine know more about each other than most people, right? So there are things that can scare you about that because you you can see like every single flaw, you see all the triggers and there are a lot of triggers. Um, so it feels like for the most part, the masculine has overcome that, like little things that were conflicting them about this love, right? About your connection and how you would be together. This masculine has resolved um, most of those. They have overcome the illusions of what it would be like to be in this commitment with you. They've overcome those. So that is actually very, very positive. So let's see what this moon is then. chariot and the four of swords in reverse okay I see they're afraid of things happening too quickly they're afraid of things happening too quickly before they are ready so it, I feel like the masculine is actually just um, they're getting ahead of themselves almost like thinking too far into the future and like rushing it in their own mind so it's like they're thinking yeah okay so Let's say I am actually ending this relationship with this karmic partner and then, you know, I'm, I move towards my feminine, but then what if I'm, you know, not feeling very good? Like, is that going to mess it up? Um, you know, what if I'm still feeling, I don't know, some kind of 
like still adjusting or if I am still feeling some residue pain or what if I'm not very stable, you know, all of those things. What if certain things are just not healed yet within me? So they're afraid of, of rushing the process. But what I'm also getting here is that they're also afraid of allowing too much time to pass. It's like they're feeling that sense of urgency. But then at the same time, they're afraid of that sense of urgency. And they are thinking about this a little prematurely because they haven't left yet. <laughs> All right, their situation, they're still there. So this is just something that is going on in their, in their minds. So if you are in contact, you might be able to pick up on something like that. Or if they're acting a little bit strange, you, you know, maybe this will make sense to you as to why. And that is what is creating this um, stress for them. So, yeah, let's see. What else do we want to... Let's actually get a couple cards for the feminines because we often do get some pretty insightful information, but let's see. All right, we have door to value. So let's get a few more. We have number 21, I just can never for the life of me um, remember the key word and it's a word that I can't even really pronounce. Um, but basically to me this is like the Divine Soulmate um, card, all right, because you can see how it's like these two girls, it's like they're twins and they're also sharing a heart. So I feel like the feminine is actually, I feel like basically what this thing is that you know the value of this connection, you know what it is but you're also feeling confident in it, even if, even if you're not in contact, even if you're not in communication. You know what this connection is because you've definitely gone through phases, right? Um, feeling in different ways, you know what this is, but that doesn't mean that it's going to necessarily, you know, keep you stuck either though. Let me get the rest of them and see. Divine timing and devotion. So this is exactly what I'm saying, is that you understand the value of this journey, right? Of this connection. And if you're not feeling this way, take this as guidance, okay? Because sometimes this is what you're already feeling and for others of you, this can be guidance or, you know, the encouragement for you. So this is a connection that has been very valuable, even if it has been very painful because it has taught you a lot about your own self. All right, it has taught you about integrity, it has taught you about setting boundaries, it has taught you about loving yourself, self-worth, going after what it is that is going to be in your highest good, on your own, doing that by yourself, finding value in your own life, on your own, while still, um, still holding space for this, still, still embodying this connection, not being like, you know, defensive and being like, okay, completely like I'm just done with this, you know, in that, with that kind of an energy. It's like with this divine timing card, you've learned patience. And that what is meant to come to you will. And if it, if it doesn't, yeah, you know, it might not be exactly what you want, but you're okay with that too, because you have found the value of this experience. So, and I feel like, you know, and that's what this devotion card is all about as well. It's not just your devotion to, to the masculine, it's to this experience. That's basically what it's about. So, again, take, take this message however it resonates for you. And, yeah, I'm just going to try to keep this a little short. Well, it's not that short, but... <laughs> Yeah, I am going to try to get one more video out this week, hopefully over the weekend. Maybe, um, maybe a reading to see what is going on within a specific um, karmic relationship. 
or maybe a no communications reading. If you guys have a preference, um, do let me know in the comments and I will try to get that out. All right, so let's see. Let's close it out with a couple of oracle messages. This one. And we have serendipity. I'm telling you, everything, for, for this group at least, um, everything is on track. Everything is on track. And I do feel like there have been some very synchronized events lately that have happened that, and for some of you, you may even be aware of them. Um, and it has definitely led to this nostalgia as well as to karma. And I feel like whatever truth was revealed to the masculine, um, that has actually helped to move the karma closing along. So let's get one more. Let's use this deck. have the first quarter moon your commitment is being tested all right yeah take that however it makes sense for you it might feel to you like you know you're being tested in some way I feel like it's talking about just the commitment to this experience to this journey not necessarily to each other but you know if that resonates for you then definitely take that all right, and it's the same also for the masculines, right? They're being tested not just um, for their feminine, but just in the whole situation with their karmic partner as well in order to be able to um, take some kind of an action here and bring about that conclusion, right? Karma is really playing out right now. <laughs> Look at this bunny. That's karma. It's like right there, right? <laughs> All right, guys, that was it. I thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a like um, if you like this video. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love.